Hi guys, welcome to the Lorest News. A peep back to a video created a few months uh, rather in the channel called Android Image Gallery using Glide and Recyclable. Uh, this video, uh, the demo application basically uh, displays uh, JSON data of images uh, right there on the server uh, which uh, were being uh, displayed using Glide and uh, called uh, from the, the network uh, using uh, the syntax and uh, loaded in the background and actually use uh, the, the view page uh, to actually uh, depict a kind of slideshow from one image to the other that's on click of uh, the grid uh, will take you to a slideshow where you could actually uh, swipe uh, from uh, different images uh, so you could actually view the, uh, the large size of the image uh, in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to uh, improve more on this. I will be adding the share functionality and the download. Uh, but firstly, we'll point out the, the share. We'll be using the Picasso uh, library to actually uh, share the uh, image to different uh, social net network platform or any calling application that could accept uh, an image or a bitmap. So we could actually uh, integrate that and I'll actually be showing you on how to do that. So basically we're going to be sharing uh, image based on the URL because we have the URL from the server and uh, we're actually going to save it uh, temporarily before we could actually make that shareable. Cool. I'll be adding straight to Android Studio to uh, show you on how to implement that. And if you have only your hands on the source code, I'll also be pushing the source code to the GitHub, uh, which you can pick up. I won't be, uh, covering in full details of how the application was created because I have that uh, explained in the earlier video. I'll be narrowing down to uh, the share implementation so I will employ you to just follow along with me. If you haven't actually covered the, the full structure of the video, you could check down the, uh, the, uh, the, the channel and you could actually watch uh, the video again. So right there in the Android Studio, I'll be heading straight to the slideshow dialog fragment. This is just how it is from the main activity. Uh, you uh, initialize the recycler view and the layout involved. Uh, you call on the fragment uh, that replaces the fragment. I call it the slideshow dialog fragment, uh, which will be triggered on click of the recycler view when you had an item touch listener to the recycler view. That's where you have that done. Though you fetch the images are from the network. Uh, where you use the JSON array re request to actually uh, extract that into an array and you look through the array to uh, strip out uh, the name, the URL, the small, medium, large timestamp of the image based on the POJO we've created, which is the model, uh, the image model that actually has the attributes uh, which you are looking out for. So uh, for our integration, actually do that from the fragment image slider which is actually connected to the slideshow dialog fragment in the slider XML you need to introduce uh, the icon the share and the download I've actually included the download but the possibility is gone presently uh, you do the share you can see the share icon depicted this way you could change the color the way you do this is actually when you just click on the drawable or you right click and uh, you point down to new vector assets on the vector assets uh, you could actually select different icon from the bunch of icons right there in the assets studio with that uh, from the show shoe you could get a share icon can you see that there so you actually bring that into the drawable so you have that set up and uh, the image view is right there seated beneath uh, the date and title of the particular image so cool uh, after that uh, we'll be integrating it directly into the slideshow dialog fragment so that's where the layout is being tied to in the slideshow dialog fragment uh, this extends the dialog fragments and uh, you have the array list which is for the images uh, where uh, we have a list of image uh, the view page and its adapter 
and uh, now I need to set up uh, the string for the image link and the image view for the share download since we're going to actually use the share and uh, right there the on create view uh, where you will need to initialize the different fields you've actually uh, set up up there uh, you need to also do that for the share and the download which you can see right there and uh, if possible uh, you could actually uh, get that done right cool and uh, you need to set on click listener to the share icon uh, so you have that set up share called set on click listener and you instantiate the new view on click listener where you need to override the on click method when you trigger this on click method that's going to be a method that will run right there which is the share item and it takes a parameter a string uh, parameter called set image link I will get to see that I will get to actually add this uh, parameter into this method called share That's the share item method uh, where that takes a string URL, which is actually the set image link. And let's quickly see how we've been able to get that string set image link. Uh, you actually get the string uh, from the display meta info because this meta info, info is called when the view pager uh, actually, uh, when you're setting the current item, can you see, uh, to the view pager set the correct item you call the view pager you set the correct item you call the display meta info uh, which takes the position has been triggered so that's the exact image we're looking at that on view pager scroll this method is being triggered to actually set the exact image and title and uh, date date on the position that the view pager has been swiped to so that's where we will use as a point of contact to actually get the link to the image. So we've declared an empty string up there as a global uh, set image link. Now you could easily call the image object and point at the method that are right there in the model, which is the get large and convert to string if you desire, but it's going to actually come in a string format. So now you have a URL, a link to that particular image based on its position. So that's the accurate uh, time. So at that point in time, uh, the set image link will be populated with value, a real and correct value. So you could actually take the URL from there. So we have a URL already called the set image URL. Now the share item, what is it going to do with the URL that is actually having? It's just Picasso. I actually use Picasso uh, to make this uh, simpler. And uh, Picasso actually has uh, an inbuilt uh, method called the target, which will actually help you, <coughs> excuse me, which will actually help you to fetch URL from the, uh, from, uh, from the server. And it's actually going to embed it in the shareable format. We have the Picasso with definitely you get the context or if you're using an activity this you load the URL which is definitely going to be the set image link into a new target and instantiated class called target and uh, you will write three methods the on bitmap loaded the on bitmap field and on prepare load on the bitmap loaded that's what we need you pass is actually compacting the, the, the the image to a bitmap uh, which could be shareable that's just what it's doing uh, we have the bitmap as a uh, parameter and the second parameter is the Picasso loaded from where is it loading from at that point in time in the method uh, you need to trigger the intent which uh, the action is going to be action sent and the set type the any format of image either PNG either JIF either or G jpeg so that's just what that uh, depicts image or slash asterisk that's all format of image you put the extra the stream definitely it's gonna go in the stream and now you get the local bitmap URL now you want to convert it to the local uh, 
readable format and so we need a method called get local bitmap URI which will actually convert the bitmap into uh, the local format so let's see what the local bitmap URI is doing it takes a bitmap as a parameter and uh, there's a try and catch uh, to actually uh, use this uh, bitmap value now you're going to actually firstly create a file which you have right there create it as a file file is to share the file class you pass it the necessary parameters first parameter is the context the second one is the directory which is going to the uh, the pictures directory the third parameter is going to be the title that's the title you're giving the picture what name are you giving it share image and we are adding the system current time in milliseconds which can not be the same definitely it's going to be different to different time you're trying to share an image with the png format now you're going to actually get it to a file output stream where you compress uh, the compressed format is png so you compress it to a 90 so it's going to be a very very um, efficient while, while, while sharing and uh, you have that uh, set up now you're going to actually convert that to a URI that's what is that you're converting it to a local URI on the device so it's going to be readable on the device not uh, from the internet anymore that's the HTTP no it's actually going to be uh, pointed now as if it's actually situated right there in the device so that's the essence that's the difference between URI and URL you know there are all links but URI is uh, targeted at different location in your device while URL is for the resource locator which is for the HTTP which we all know now the BAMP URI we have a URI already since we could actually convert the file to a URI we've actually saved it to a directory and it's converted to a URI cool. so we could actually share this the BMP URI and uh, it's actually going to get to different destination which uh, is calling so with that you've been able to integrate uh, the share and uh, I will implore you to probably try your hands on download see if you can actually get that done uh, well, I'll still be coming back on for that to actually download the image to uh, a directory right there in either in the internal storage or in there's the card so we're actually going to create a pad for there to store the image so with this you could easily share uh, a URL, URL uh, encoded image from the server uh, you, you you save it into a local directory and uh, it's actually going to have a URI and uh, of course firstly convert to bitmap at the same time you convert to URI which could be shareable uh, to other application calling or consuming uh, an image format so you have that set up so cool with that you've set up the uh, share image and uh, we employ you to lay out the source code I'll be showing you a screencast to actually see how the implementation flow and how it's actually uh, interact with a bunch of bunch of uh, applications to actually share images to so thank you guys for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial and uh, we could also include something in the manifest of uh, right external storage probably where you're trying to download you will need that permission because you need to write to a storage so that's very important you could actually have this line as well uses permission right to external storage so at this time I'll be saying thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout uh, this video and I'll implore you to subscribe to my channel and uh, don't go anywhere, keep practicing and happy coding. Bye bye for now.